Hello everyone! In this video I show you how to disassemble the Tamron 7300mm lens for replacing the aperture cable. Actually, I had this lens from a client who had problems with the lens. The problem was that at 300mm and small apertures the camera gave an error 01 message. At uh, other zoom settings and uh, the widest aperture, the uh, lens was working fine, so that indicated that the problem is with the aperture cable. So in this video I show you how to uh, disassemble the lens, and I have two other videos. In the second one I show you how to remove the old cable and replace it with a new one, and in the last video I show you how to assemble the lens. Before I would start, let me talk about the tools that I will use to disassemble the lens. I will use two kinds of PH30 screwdrivers and the tweezer. So let's get started. First, let me show you the problem. When the lens zoomed at 300mm and using a small aperture, the camera shows an error message after taking a picture. At other zoom range than 300mm and then the widest aperture, the lens is working fine, so that indicates that the problem is caused by faulty aperture cable. Let's start with the disassembly of the lens. Here is the lens. This is the Tamron 7300 lens, which doesn't have image stabilization. Actually, I removed the zoom ring rubber and the de-zooming brush underneath it, but as I later found out, I didn't have to do it. It is not needed to disassemble the lens. So you can skip this step. In this step I remove the two small screws which are holding the lens connector. Then I remove those four screws from the bayonet.
Then remove the inner plastic ring from the bayonet mount. Then the bayonet ring. Remove the metal ring sheets. Disconnect the cables. Then remove the two screws which are holding the PCB. Remove the PCB. Then remove the screw which holds the aperture flex cable. Remove the autofocus manual focus switch. The next step is to remove the autofocus mechanism. There are two screws which have to be removed to do that. The next step is to remove the plastic ring by removing four screws.
Then remove the zooming barrel by removing those four screws. When the screws were removed, just lift off the zoom barrel of the lens. Twist the front lens barrel to lift off the inner parts of the lens. Don't remove the front lens completely. Then lift off the inner barrel of the lens. Remove those three screws with their white rings. Then remove the inner lens elements. This is the cable which is causing the error, so the next step is to remove it. This is where the cable is damaged. In the next video I show you how to desolder the cable and replace it with a new one. Thank you very much for watching my videos. If you find it useful and informative, please click on the like button, subscribe on my channel and watch my other videos. 
Also, donate by PayPal or Bitcoin if you wish. So thank you again and see you next time in another video.